Hello and welcome viewers. We are going to make a cocktail this morning, early morning cocktail hour here at Sandy Stone Brewing Company. Um, this is going to be a little tutorial on one of our specialty cocktails we're doing right now uh, through the winter months. It's our jalapeno cube snapper. First things first for the drink, uh, main ingredient of course is going to be this Oregon made uh, whiskey, whippersnapper whiskey. We are going to use a bit of this Canton ginger liqueur. This is going to add a nice ginger flavor, some sweetness. And then at the very end, we're just going to float a little bit of this Reed's extra spicy ginger ale uh, in there. That'll add some effervescence, um, a little more ginger flavor, and a bit more sweetness. And that'll balance out really nicely with the other flavors. Uh, let's get started. Next step, jalapeno, cucumber. Let's muddle. Two slices of fresh cucumber. Now, depending on the heat of the jalapeno, what we're going to do is make three slices. So one very thin slice is going to be used as a garnish later. That's just going to go right in the glass. And then, depending on the heat of the jalapeno, you're going to want to use one or two, really however many you want to create the flavors you want in your cocktail. So we'll throw those in there. Now we're going to muddle the fresh ingredients, and this is going to open up all of the flavors. You can smell this right now. It's really floral. The jalapeno and the cucumber together make a really nice, fresh, floral scent it really goes nicely with the other flavors of the cocktail. So once you've got that nice and muddled up, you want it to be fairly broken up. The next step is going to be add to the spirits. So first, let's go ahead and add our ice. We're going to be shaking this cocktail. So we're going to do about an ounce and a half of whiskey, the whippersnapper whiskey, followed by that float of Canton ginger liqueur, and that's gonna end up being right about, oh gosh, about an ounce or so of that ginger liqueur. We're gonna shake vigorously all of our ingredients. I can throw a couple little extra little, one over here, one over there. It's a really important device to have, our strainer. Earlier when we muddled all those ingredients, uh, unless you have a strainer, all those are gonna end up in your cocktail. So it's really nice to put your strainer on top of the martini shaker and pour. Because we don't want any of the rest of those ingredients in the cocktail, we just want the flavors from them. So there you have that. And then just to finish it up, we're gonna take a bit of this ginger ale and just float that in there. Nice little bubbly finish. And there you have it, jalapeno cute snapper.